welcome back to my channel my name is vivian if this is your first time of stopping by you're absolutely welcome and by the way i reside in lagos state nigeria so for my returning subscribers you're also welcome okay and yeah today i went out to you know get a food processor actually i was shopping and i came across the aisle where they had uh, home appliances and i've been wanting to get a food processor so i decided to get one today i'll be going with the right tech food processor because of the way it appeared it had this uh, silver and um you know glossy black that's how i usually love my appliances so i decided to go with it and try it out payments I went ahead to test the appliances just to be sure um, everything was complete in the pack most of the times it might be missing a pack might be missing a handle or an important part component of it and then you have to go back because it has a warranty you have to start going back to do an exchange especially for the ones that come in bits and pieces like this back home and i'll be doing an official unboxing i'll be laying out everything and showing you giving you a closer look in case you really want to go for this appliance but if not just for you to have an idea of what you can get out of you know this big box please don't forget to like this video make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i upload any video okay so this is everything that came in the box and yeah this is everything spread out on the table and now i'll be going through each and every one of them and it comes with a manual too in clear english you know we don't like to read manual in this part of the world but you get to read manual and understand this the look of the whole thing is simply amazing i just love the fact the vibe it came with glossy black and silver okay it comes with a blender that has a flip-up cover a grinder for dry spices, ingredients and all that then it has a citrus juicer this was one of the reasons why i went for this particular product because of this citrus juicer and it comes also with um a twin geared whisk and then it has a plastic knife blade and a silver one and a emulsifying disc it also comes with three blades and a disc that houses the blades very easy and then this is what you attach the whisk to the a sort of engine for the whisk and then it has a scraper or a spatula then it has a lead with a feeder tube and then a pusher with a bowl so it comes with a motor that has a pulse function and a zero to maximum speed and it also has a three plug head yeah and what else this is what the remote looks like so i'll be testing out um this processor with some of the stuffs i have in the house and yeah i'll be taking you guys through the whole process now i'm going to be starting with this juicer the citrus juicer so i'll be testing out some oranges and let's see how effective this particular machine is it also comes with something i call a piston at the middle that you attach at the middle this is one thing that you you shouldn't misplace okay so if you attach that you put the citrus juicer on the top and then it has a small ball head and then you place it cut up your orange and then place it on top of the you know the citrus juicer and then you start juicing just turn on to the pulse function depending on how hard you can hold on to or how you can grip the orange you can start from zero you know try to increase the speed so as i was juicing i discovered that i might have made a mistake with the way i cut up the orange because it didn't juice the orange the way it was supposed to juice right so i cut the orange from the tip and you can see that there is still a whole lot of juice left in the orange which 
shouldn't be so so i decided to go in with another orange and then cut it into two halves and try to choose again so trying out um one half of the orange and yeah you can see it's juicing faster and it's easier this way and you can see that it has even finished juicing at this point in just a few seconds i was done juicing that half of the orange as you can see so this is our advice that you just go ahead and cut up your orange into two and then start juicing it like half at a time you can see it was properly juiced compared to the one that I did earlier on. So this is the second half of the juice. We're still going to try it out and confirm that you should actually cut up your orange into two and juice it. I think that way it's even faster. That's the easier thing to do. Comparing the two, you can see the one on the right juiced properly. Yeah, I just want to show you like the quantity of juice, fresh juice I was able to get out of two small sized oranges. I think this machine actually did the job. Like, I'm not even mad at it. It, it, it did the job and it was able to sieve a part of the pulp um, and, uh, you know, separated it from the juice. It's just amazing. I would say, first impression, I'm glad I went with this product. going to be trying out the blades um, first of all you attach the bow to the motor and then you get the disc that houses the blades and you first of all put the piston at the middle and then get the blade put it right at the opening and then press it down it makes a clip sound very easy to install and then you go ahead and place it attach it to the piston and that is it then get the lead and make sure it covers properly it makes a clip sound too and you remove the pusher set it aside and now we're going to be trying out some irish potatoes washed and um, peeled so we're going to be passing it through trying to grate this potato and see what happens so with the pusher you turn on the knob to the pulse function if you want or you can start from the zero up okay depending on how fast you want it to go but now it grated the potatoes which wasn't really what I wanted to do I wanted to do um, the french fries okay cut it off for french fries so we're going to be replacing that blade with a blade that is supposed to be for french fries but again if you wanted to grate your potatoes it's very easy so the same thing we're just going to go ahead and replace this particular blade with the one for french fries repeating the process again putting the potato use the pusher press on it and then turn on the motor okay in seconds you already have your chips but i wanted to be sure that i was doing the right thing so i decided to take a look as you can see our potatoes our chips are almost ready in split seconds like it's amazing let's go ahead and you know make the chips and see what happens see just in seconds you can see that you have your chips ready for frying so simple easy I love chips but most of the time I try to avoid it because of the whole process of you know peeling and then having to chop it up and all that 
you can see you have your potato for chips easy so we'll go ahead and um, replace this particular blade and uh, use the grating blade again and yeah we'll be trying out a carrot or some sticks of carrot and let's see how that works for us and yeah place your carrot in and then use the pusher to push it turn on the motor and it starts grating your carrot people like us are always like maybe trying to make salads all the time and when you're grating manually you tend to grate your skin i don't know if you've had that experience before or you have artificial nails on it spoils your nails you get so this is just very easy very easy to handle clean neat fast simple easy is properly properly grated and yeah your salad is ready so what I will do is to try to grate my cabbage or try to shred my cabbage so you can always use the knife blade to shred your cabbage and now putting the cabbage you see that it doesn't fit through the feeder tool because it's quite narrow so you cut your cabbage in such a way that it can fit in I wouldn't advise that you force anything through the feeder tube so it doesn't break what you need to do is just to cut it in such a way that it, it fits and then use the pusher to press it down turn it on and then you start you know grating or chopping up your cabbage and now your food salad is is ready in how many seconds very very easy very easy to handle i'm not even mad at this product i don't regret buying it cabbage didn't shred um, as finely as the rest in the bowl but again you can just pour everything in and then use the the blade there is a blade that you can use to you know chop up everything but I just wanted to see how possible it was or how possible it is to you know be able to use the grating function on cabbage so this is your coleslaw ready to eat and you move on to something else okay this is just a kitchen appliance i would say everybody is supposed to invest in like it won't disappoint you it's always coming in handy once you handle parts of your appliances well they will definitely work for you and that is it so we move over to the slicing blade i'm going to be testing it out and we're going to be using um a bulb of onion so let's see how that is going to handle the onion so this bulb of onion won't be able to pass through the feeder tube and i would advise that you push it in so just cut it into two halves pass it through the feeder tube use the pusher and press it down and then turn on the knob the engine and it's moving you have your onion in seconds i don't like cutting onion most of the time i shy away from using onion because of the whole you know it is so inconveniencing trying to cook and then you have to slice your onion and the rest of it so you can do this you can even make them in batches and stop in the fridge like i always do this is so easy to handle so so easy now the same onion i'm going to be putting in the blade i mentioned earlier on i talked about earlier on putting the blade and then putting the onion i love my onion minced i love it um shredded into pieces so that way i don't see it in my meal i don't like seeing onion cooked onion i prefer to bite it have a taste of it like in the chopped form so i'll go ahead and you know chop up this So you can see everything has been properly chopped 
you can go ahead and chop it up more if you want but what i'll do now is to add some scotch bonnet pepper that i have in the house and uh, yeah this is this is just so good let's see how it's going to handle the scotch bonnet as tiny as they are and one thing about this processor the chopping function doesn't chop the item till it brings out liquid it just chops it doesn't puree okay it doesn't give you like the puree form it just chops off everything without bringing out liquid so that's amazing especially if you want to do a stir fry or garnishing and all that or even for your vegetables you can use them your ugu just put your ugu inside and it slices everything for you you don't need to be cutting your vegetables in the market you get so this is uh, for me i would say this has been like a great experience so far and since I got this uh, processor, I've even tried it out. I went for that to try it out with um, some green bell peppers, some scotch bonnet peppers, spring onion and the rest of it. And believe me, it came out nice. And all I do is just to use a container to store them up in batches in the fridge. That way, whenever I want to cook, I just go scoop out a bit of it and it's easy, very easy. As you can see, everything was easy to handle. Just look at that. Take a look at the peppers all chopped up into different containers. Very easy. So the next thing that usually takes up my time in the kitchen is whenever I want to make okra. You get you. I love my okra chopped. I don't love the blended okra. I love to get like a bite of my okra when I'm eating. And this has actually improved the game. I would say like see how easy it was to chop up okra in about two seconds so you don't need to take all the time 15 20 minutes chopping up your okra with your knife or trying to grate as usual you just chop up the okra and it's easy it's easy once i'm done chopping up my okra i just go and run it through the tap with warm water and that's just it everything is easy 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 to handle let's try the grinder okay i have some dry ehuru spice it's a local spice but this particular one is quite dry i i could feel it in my palms but let's see how it can handle this particular one let's see how it goes it's actually breaking the the spice into bits but it's not grinding it into powder which was what i wanted so I wouldn't really advise that you use something this dry, it's very very dry so it doesn't spoil your blade. Then I tested out the blender too just to see if it's working. We all know how the blender works for purees and all that. And that is it for this whole appliance, I'm not even mad. So I go ahead and wash up my appliances once I use them and spread them out to air dry, okay? Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe, I'll see you in my next video, bye.